Hello everyone, this is Zook, and today I'm going to be drawing Karen Bloodhoof. Now, I made a poll on Facebook yesterday regarding what I should draw next, because I was slightly undecided, and apparently people wanted to see Karen Bloodhoof, so here he is. Now, for those of you that haven't played Warcraft, World of Warcraft, or have generally no knowledge about the the lore of the mentioned games, Kieran Bloodhoof is the High Chieftain of the United Tauren Tribes. He's been present, omnipresent, throughout the storyline of, uh, of Warcraft and World of Warcraft. He is a friend of the Horde, friend of Thrall, uh, allied with Thrall after rescuing Grom Hellscream, yeah, Grom Hellscream from the Burning Legion. So him and Thrall have been through a lot together, and he pledged allegiance to the Orcish Horde in exchange for uh, safety to Mulgore because the the Torrens were being attacked in their native lands by marauder, centaur marauders and such and so they needed help to move the population to Mulgore so Thrall offered to help them in exchange for rescu helping him rescue Grom Hellscream from the Burning Legion so there's a little bit of uh, background history on the character now um, one particular thing that uh, separates Karen Bloodhoof from any other normal Torn is that he wields the Bloodhoof Spear, which is a spear passed down from generation to generation in the Bloodhoof clan, and every leader uh, basically inscribes their own history on the weapon. So it has runes on it and stuff like that. It's it's a very particular weapon that no other uh, Torrin wields. It looks sort of like a, an axe slash polearm. If you've played uh, Dota and stuff, you'll or even Warcraft, that's the weapon the uh, the Torrin chieftain uses there. So I'm gonna be drawing that in this picture. But yeah, um, I used the stylus for a lot of elements on this picture because it had as you all know, Torans are sort of inspired by the Indian culture, the American Indian culture. So they have a lot of elements uh, tied to the spirit world and like nature, animal world, all that. Like a lot of feathers and a lot of little animal parts and uh, objects from nature to to depict their relationship with nature because they're very close to it, you know, the earth mother and all that stuff. So for drawing feather, feathers and uh, like hair and all that, the stylus proved to be uh, quite a useful tool because thorns are very hairy naturally. So uh, and they all have like braided hair and hair all over and stuff hanging off them. So for tiny details like that, the stylus was was great. So I'm happy I discovered it because this would have this drawing would have been much more challenging if if I didn't have access to that tool. So, for the guys wishing to actually pursue drawing, you should really, it's its really not a snobbish uh, thing like a gadget or toy, it's actually extremely useful. So you should uh, go for it. I have a video on how to make it in case you missed it. They're all on my channel. So right now I'm just drawing light outlines of the um, armor that I want to put on him. It's not really ar armor, it's more like a leather garment, sort of. Because there are a lot of renditions of uh, of Karen Bloodhoof out there on the internet, so some are without the totems in his back, some are with, some are even without him carrying the uh, Bloodhoof spear. But uh, to be uh, faithful to its history, Torn Chieftain is supposed to have the spear because the spear was destroyed when Karen was killed in the battle with uh, Garage Hellscream. So there's no reason he shouldn't be carrying it. Just trying to detail his muscles there, get a feel for them. Drawing a few veins there, very lightly. I didn't go into a lot of shading with the muscles because they're the character is in a sort of a dynamic position, like almost ready to strike. So I didn't want to. Plus, there it, it has a lot of things and decorations on them, so I didn't want to overdo it with uh, with the dark shades of gray. I tried to keep it uh, light as light as possible wherever I could. And I'm drawing the uh, armbands with uh, the horde symbol on them, and I was in a bit of a dilemma because I wasn't sure if Torrens had three fingers, or well, two fingers and a thumb, or three fingers and a thumb. But I looked at a lot of pictures before I drew this, so they actually have two fingers and one thumb. 
So I like the Mutant Ninja Turtles. So it's all good. Just drawing the hands there, they came out pretty okay. Trying to not shade them too much, drawing the muscles under his head. See, the problem with pencil is that because you don't have access to color, you gotta be really care careful with how hard you press because when a lot of things are overlapping, for example, his head and the braided hair and the things hanging off his horns and the horns themselves, they're all they're not on white, you know, you can see them just fine when they're on white, but they're all overlapping his body, and his body is also textured, and he has also the leather garments going underneath him, so c color is actually a real luxury when it comes to drawing pictures, because you can separate them and make them way more visible through color, but with pencil, you just gotta be careful which shade you go with, you gotta pick your shades carefully, so it doesn't look very cluttered. I'm just doing the legs now using the stylus for the the hairs that are uh, rarefying towards the uh, the hoof. Came out really well there with the stylus. Having slight issue with how to draw the hoof because the the, the leg is in a sort of awkward position. It's it's not on a flat surface. You know, I drew it as if he was on a small uh, dirt mound. You know, and his the leg. Uh, his right leg is, is further behind, obviously, because the character is not facing forward. He's sort of sideways. So his right leg is also elevated on a, on a different surface. But uh, I got the positioning okay eventually with a bit of uh, practice and racing there over and over again over the hooves. Uh, sometimes I just find these small things that bother me and don't, don't quite look right, and then I just have to race over and over until I get it right. Just working on his his right hand there. The right hand is supposed to be slightly bent, you know, as if yeah, it's 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 bent at the elbow. And right there, I had some Chinaman semen on my ruler because it left a yellow stain there. But I managed to get it out. I so panicked. You might have missed that. It was like a split second because it's fast forwarded so much. But I grabbed the ruler to draw the uh, blood hoof spear, and it left a yellow stain on my uh, paper, but I don't know what the hell it was. I, it's an old ruler. I might have spilled something on it. I managed to get it out. Thank God. It, <laughs> I was like four hours into this when that happened, so if I had to take it from the top just because of that one thing, I would have went insane. Now I'm doing my own version of the blood hoof spear here, keeping in mind some of the details that I've seen. There aren't a lot of pictures of, of Karen on the internet, so I don't really know like what exactly he's supposed to look like. Basically, everyone just makes their own versions, even like the artists that work at Blizzard all have different versions of, of Cairn. But what's for certain is that it has those th three, three little, uh, three little, little, little blades, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> blades on the top and the two smaller blades on the, the opposite side with the giant, huge axe blades. So I'm doing my own runes there, improvising a little on the on the spear. Didn't want to make it identical to uh, the concept art I've seen. And I'm just adding like a little decoration or two on the, the spear shaft. I, I, drew, I wrote a, not wrote, but drew a dream catcher there. And I'm just working on the second bracelet, not detailing it as much, making a little um, belt loop there. Not loop, but god damn it, I can't talk today. Belt buckle on the uh, underside of the forearm. Now I decided to draw him with totems because that's how I remember him. He had like these two totems on his back which are attached to the leather strap that goes across his chest. And I've drawn wood before in my previous video so I don't need to to really talk about it. Very simple, very quick, not detailing them too much. And that's about it and it's finished form. So I hope you enjoy it and please visit my channel, subscribe, uh, find answers to your questions because I get a lot of similar questions after each video and I'll see you next